Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing another haul. So here lately on my channel I've been posting I feel like a lot of hauls but when you look back on it it's only two that are recent. If anything this haul is finishing off some things that I actually left out in that video in my previous video but I also have some new things to talk about. So if you like hauls and you just like makeup in general home decor things like that don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. I don't have any updates except I forgot to even mention it, which I'm sure you guys can see. I am now a like a white blonde. I went and got this done the other day, and I really do like it. I'm not giving up on my silver because that's something I think I will always go back to. When my hair is this light, it's very easy in general to go back to silver. So I really like it, and I like the way that it turned out. So other than that, I don't have any updates. I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the haul. So the first things I want to start off with is the makeup products that I picked up in this video. The first thing I picked up is the thing I talked about in my previous video. I said I had something coming in the mail from Sephora and this is it. This is from Clinique. And I'm not really sure what this set is called. And this is what the packaging looks like. You get the moisturizer, you get an eye cream, you get the spray, and then you also get a face mask. I'm really excited for this. I have been taking really good care of my skin lately and I can tell a huge difference. I don't know what it is, but when I get in front of these lights, I feel like it gives me somewhat of texture that I don't really have like when I look in the mirror. So I don't know if you guys can tell it, but I've been taking really good care of my skin and I've been trying to find products that are alcohol free. When it comes to like cleansers and everything, I use products that don't have any alcohol in it. Alcohol dries your skin out and it does give you wrinkles. I've been talking about a lot of skincare recently and I've been finding a lot of products that just work for me in general. So I'm really excited about that. I've heard a lot of people talk that people with dry skin, the research from Clinique is like the best. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm pretty sure this may be a full size. And then these are like travel sizes, but these last a long time. So really excited to try this and I will keep you guys updated on what I think of this. A lot of people really love the moisture surge in general. So I'm sure this will be really, really nice, especially for the winter. I am somebody that I have dry skin anyways. And during this time of the year, it just gets 10 times drier. So I'm really excited to play with this. At the moment, I've been using a lot of Peter Thomas Roth. I've been using a lot of Kiehl's. Just really, really moisturizing products. But if you guys want to know of what I've been using or just a skincare video in general, I'd be more than happy to film that for you guys. I'm almost done with my cleanser and I wanted to pick up a new one, but I was very picky on what I wanted. Again, I don't want any alcohol in it. So I found this one. This is from It Cosmetics and this is called the Confidence in a Cleanser. I got the little baby size because I wanted to try it out. I have used this. I used it last night and I'm not sure how I really feel about it, honestly. It made my skin feel soft, but something about it, it's like it didn't clean it that well, I guess you could say. So what I had to do was, which I normally don't do, I use like a makeup remover balm and it took all of my makeup off. I was using my makeup wipes as well and I feel like my makeup just wasn't coming off good. And I used that and that definitely got it off and it made my skin really soft. And the makeup remover balm that I used all over my face was from Good Molecules. And the smell reminds me of the Kiehl's like moisture serum cream. Really, really like that. But I will keep you updated on this product. It's just a mini, but this was like maybe $12 to $16. I can't remember. And I didn't want to pick the full size up because again, I did just want to try it. It has a very slight fragrance, nothing overpowering. I just don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm glad that I got the like baby size because I don't know that I absolutely love this. So I will keep trying it and give you guys an update when I have finished it. Then along with that, I was running low on my moisturizer that I use, so I wanted to pick up a new one. And again, a lot of the ones that I was looking at had alcohol in them, and I wasn't about that. So I went with a little baby size of this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. Now, I wanted the mini Confidence in a Cream. I know if you were signed up with BoxyCharm, a lot of people got that full-size one in BoxyLux, I'm pretty sure, at one point. I couldn't find the mini of it. It looked like it had all been sold out. A lot of people must like it or must be wanting to try it because that Confidence in a Cream, I hear a lot of good things about it. But I tried the gel, which I don't know if I should have done this because I hear, this is just hearsay. I don't really know. I'm not really educated that much on skincare, but if you have dry skin, then you should use more of like a lotion type moisturizer. And if you have oily skin, I heard that the gel moisturizer is the best. But I used this and it did moisturize my skin. It felt soft. Again, I just don't know that I love it that much. So I will keep trying it out. Again, this is a baby size. This is what it looks like. 
Again, just don't know that I absolutely love this. I will keep trying it and testing it out and let you guys know when I am finished. The next thing I have here to talk about is these three palettes that I haven't really mentioned here on my channel. And these are from ColourPop. These are somewhat newer, I believe. One of them's called Gimme Butterflies. The other one's called A Flutter. And then the other one is called Butter Me Up. So I will show you this one first. This one's called Butter Me Up. Really pretty packaging. I just kept it in the box to show you guys before I throw it away. But this is what the palette looks like. It's really, really pretty. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. I took the little sleeve thing off. Really, really pretty. Out of all three of these, I couldn't really decide which one I liked the best, so I just got them all. You have a lot of pressed glitters. You have metallic shades in there, and you do have some mattes. Just really, really pretty and really excited to play with this. There for a while, I have been sleeping on ColourPop because I just released a lot of stuff. And honestly, I have a lot of ColourPop products in general when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes. The last things that I remember that I really did pick up was this Frozen Collection, the Vaults. That one, and then there's one back there. That's the only thing that I had really been picking up because there's just so much. I feel like these were really different than the ones that I do own. So I decided to pick these up. Again, this one is called Butter Me Up. And then the other one is called A Flutter. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. Again, these palettes just really spoke to me. And I know that ColourPop has been releasing some palettes that I'm like, ugh, I don't know. They're like the coconut one. I'm not really crazy over that one. They came up with one that they collaborated with Ulta. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's really appropriate for the fall. It looks like berry tones, but I don't know. So this is what the next one looks like. I got a little eyeshadow on it. But this one is called a flutter. Really, really pretty packaging. I'm going to take the sleeve off. This one is the one that had a little shadow like on the packaging. So I'm just going to wipe it away really fast. It hasn't been used or anything. It's just where it like kind of exploded a little bit. I literally just had to press one back in because it fell out of the pan. Be very careful with these, you guys. This one is like a putty texture, the one that fell out. But it pushes back in really, really easily. But again, just be very careful with these. I'm telling you, this is like their super shock formula. If you've ever felt of those, they're like really like super soft, but kind of squishy. They're like putty. This is the one that had fell out, but I squashed it right back in. It looks fine, but I'm trying to show you guys without making another mess. I bet that's where the mess was coming from, but this is what it looks like. It looks really pretty. Again, you have mattes, you have shimmers, metallics, you have those pressed glitters. Really excited to play with this. Again, be very careful. And then the next one that I have here to talk about is called Gimme Butterflies. This is what it looks like. Really similar to the last packaging, just a little bit darker. Very, very pretty. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. I don't keep the boxes. I like when they make the actual packaging of the palette the same as the box. That way you don't feel like you need to keep the box because it looks nice. But this is what the outer packaging looks like. It's really pretty. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. It looks really, really nice. I'm kind of afraid to tip these up because I'm afraid they'll fall out. But this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. You have mattes, metallics, and you have pressed glitters. So I'm really excited to play with this. I don't think this one is showing up true. Look how pretty it really is. You have those pinky tones in here. This color is absolutely stunning. Just really, really pretty. And if you are curious... These palettes retail for $18 a piece from Ulta. I have a shadow on my fingers, so I pressed that back. So, the next thing I want to show you guys is some home decor that I picked up and like dishes and things like that. I've been really into that since I bought a home with my husband. So, I like to show things like that here on my channel. I like to watch hauls like that on YouTube in general, just like home decor hauls. I find it to be very helpful. So, if that's something you guys still want to see here on my channel, please let me know. And if you don't, I can easily cut that out. But the next thing that I want to show you, starting with the home decor, is these glasses. It comes with four in a set, and these are from Pioneer Woman. Now, in my last video, I showed you the wine glasses. It comes with four in a pack, and I also showed you some other wine glasses. But this is what the cups look like from Pioneer Woman. They're really, really pretty. I have used these already, so I did wash them for this video. But really, really nice. I like them. And these weren't that expensive, I don't think. Really, really pretty. Again, I'm just obsessed with Pioneer Woman. I have it all over my house. And I really like the way that the things look. And it really does go with my kitchen. So, again, I picked these up. And I picked these up from Walmart. The next thing I picked up was another cutting board. If you watched a few of my previous hauls, this haul was probably a long time ago. But... I showed a Pioneer Woman cutting board and I had a little mini one with it. And that pattern matches like what's on my island. And we use that a lot. I really do like it. But this one is so pretty that I couldn't resist. 
So this is what the cutting board looks like. I hope it doesn't blind you guys. And it does have the red here. I am a big fan of red. Red everything. I just love it. I did pick this up from Walmart. I think it was like $20-some dollars. But really, really pretty. I just loved it. And I've always wanted one of these wooden cutting boards. And this one I really did like again because of the red. In my kitchen I have like dark, like a navy blue and red and white going on. And I just really like this. So again, if you are curious, I did pick this up from Walmart. And then the last like home home decor thing that I picked up is from Pioneer Woman again. And in our kitchen, we have the light pale, like blue knife set, the one that holds them like the wooden thing, and then it holds all the knives. So there was some things that I actually did need. I didn't realize I needed them until I had my own home. So we didn't really have that many spatulas, like a good one to use. So we ended up picking up this one. And this is the color of the knife set we have. And then I also picked up a pizza cutter, which is something that we really needed because we, we make pizzas all the time around here. And then we also bought the whisk as well. And again, this is the color of the knives that we have. The next thing I picked up is from Kohl's, and this is another toboggan. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's gray and white, and this is what it looks like at the ends. I just love toboggans. I have so many of them at this point, but I wear them all the time. I say this in every video where I talk about a toboggan, but if you go back and watch some of my older videos, I used to wear a toboggan in every video. Like, it was probably annoying, but I did. So, I picked up this one. I just thought it would go with a lot of things. It's really cute, and I picked it up from Kohl's. Then, I also picked up my dog a little sweater. He has one. It's a Christmas sweater, and I put it on him, and it's so funny when you put him on him because he won't move. It's like he's lost everything in him to move. It's I found this one, and it's perfect because on it, it says woof, and that's what he does all the time. He'll go woof, woof. That's his noise. That's what he does. And it's a little Christmas sweater. I picked this up from Ross. So this is what it looks like at the top. And then this is what it says. It's really, really cute. I had put it on him. And again, he doesn't like it. But I think I want to take his picture. Like I want me and my husband and him to take a picture in front of our tree. So that's what I'm going to do. And then make like a big picture of it and put it on the wall. But this is what he will be wearing. It's really cute. Even though that he doesn't like it. And then the last two things that I wanted to show in this video. Because we did just recently pick these up. And this is a haul video. I've been into the Christmas spirit. And some of my favorite movies are these ones that we picked up here. So I picked up The Elf. This is my favorite Christmas movie. Hands down. I love it. I haven't had it that long, but since we bought it, I probably watched it six times. That's no joke. And then the next one that we picked up was the Polar Express. We've only watched this one one time, but it's really, really good. I know a lot of you have probably seen it, but I told my husband that when I was in grade school, I remember that the teacher was like, be ready because tomorrow we're going on the Polar Express. And I was like so excited. And I was like, oh my God, we're going to get on a train. We're going to go on the Polar Express. And then when I got there, it's like we had a piece of paper that was our ticket and the chairs were lined up behind each other and we sat in a chair and we watched the Polar Express. The only good part about that was we watched the Polar Express, but I always remember that when I think of the Polar Express. So really, really happy with these. Again, I just love Christmas. I love Christmas movies and I didn't really have any Christmas movies. I just had Home Alone and we've watched the crap out of that. The one where he goes to New York. So I was like, I think we need to get some and watch them and, you know, just get in the Christmas spirit. But other than that, that is everything. That is all the things that I picked up in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I just want to thank you guys so much for being here and liking and commenting. It honestly means the world, and don't think that you go unnoticed because I truly see you, and I truly do appreciate you, each and every one of you. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.